Hi everyone. So today I have an amazing video with me and as you can see this video generation workflow can actually take different subjects and create the video with their reference. And this is something amazing but before I get started and I explain everything I'll just give a disclaimer that do not use someone's photo to create uh, images. The only reason I am doing this is for educational purposes. I wanted some famous people because then I can compare the likeliness of the image and the video and it would be easier for you to understand. Never use anyone's image for commercial purpose or any other purpose which can be considered offensive. And with that being said, let's get started. Firstly, you will get the link to this workflow and all the models in the description below. So don't worry about it. And then the model that I am using is called Phantom Van. And for Phantom Van, you will get this link. You can see this is the FP32 Safe Tensors version. I would suggest you to use, there is also FP16 version, but I would suggest you to use uh, FP32. It is 5.68 GB and here in the van video T5, I am using UMT5 double XL encoder and you'll get the link in the description again, this one. So remember one thing, this is BF16, right? And I'm using the precision BF16. The, you will find that there is also FP8 version, which is smaller in size, but this particular node does not support FP8. So remember this, other than that, this is the normal VAE for van, there is nothing different. One thing when you import this workflow, you will see a lot of the nodes here, especially this van video and everything can be read if you have not used these previously and you cannot actually install the missing custom nodes from the Comfy UI manager. These are not here currently as of now. So what you need to do is. You need to come here. This is the Comfy UI van video wrapper. You'll get the link. Just come here, copy this, copy URL to clipboard, right? And you just need to clone it. So whatever your Comfy UI folder is, there would be a models folder. And then there will be actually a custom nodes folder. So uh, there would be a Comfy UI and then custom nodes, not model, sorry. There would be a Comfy UI and custom nodes folder. In custom nodes folder, just open a command prompt and clone this. So you already copied uh, the link to this repo. Just copy it and uh, git clone and copy it. That's it. And once you restart, you'll get all of these nodes. So you will not find these here in the is install missing custom nodes. Again, that is why I'm saying uh, you will not find these here. Okay. And after that, uh, most, uh, we are like uh, almost ready to run this. I'll explain this a little bit. So basically here you can see I am using the attention mode as SDPA because this is going to work for almost everyone. If you have sage attention, you can also try this. But if you do not have sage attention, if you Q prompt, you'll see that there will be an error that sage attention is not found. So SDPA will work for some, uh, everyone. So I have put it in this particular workflow. After that, these are just setting the VAE text encoder and the model. So nothing here. Now here, this is very important. There is subject one, subject two, and the best part is actually you can load another two subjects as well. But one thing which I have noticed is that when you increase the number of subjects, the video generation will have some issues. This is not like uh, that advanced till now that it can handle four subjects perfectly. But if you want, you can do it. You can just copy this all group and connect it to latent tree if you want. But I think two will be more than enough for now. So what this is doing basically is that you will give an image here, right? And it will go to the remove background, this node. And it is actually taking this image here, the transparency, always remember the transparency should be false. If you do it to true, there would be an error here. Uh, I think it would be in this uh, van video encode. There would be an error that it has an extra channel because we are using the alpha channel. So RGB and they uh, then the A is the alpha. 
so we do not need transparency we just need to remove the background it is just so that the model can understand the subject better and i am using the background color as white so you can see th it does not need to be perfect just uh, removing the distractions you know so this is same for subject 2 as well and the image is being resized as 512 and i am using the fill and crop because if you stretch it then uh, the facial features will actually change so you can find that the uh, model has elongated face or something like that so always use crop and if you get some part of the outfit and the face that is more than enough it can generate the rest so that is not an issue and here it is going to the encode it is taking the vae from uh, the first group and it is going through tiling here this is the phantom embeds and we will connect the phantom latents so basically the subjects are the phantom latents up to four that is what we will do cfg scale and you do not need to change all of this what i have personally noticed here i am using video uh, van video t cache so this is just to slightly speed up the process and you can increase the threshold you can decrease this uh, threshold based on uh, how much vram you have and how fast or slow the generation process is going so according to that and then you do not need to change any other thing here as you can see all of these are pretty like uh, i would say standard now here i am just mentioning like a young woman and a young man walking together side by side they are moving directly towards the camera along an outdoor path of park so you can see there is the path they are moving towards the camera so it in prompt adherence it is pretty good up to two subjects that is what i have noticed they appear comfortable and connected perhaps sharing subtle smiles or glances and again you can see they are glancing at each other they are smiling so that is the part the overall mood is pleasant and relaxed the focus is on their natural movement and interaction as they approach daytime clear lighting right now here in the negative prompt garish colors this means like overly contrasty uh, kind of colors you know it kind of makes it look uh, bad overexposed static blurry details subtitles style artworks and you, you can try on like there should not be any frame and grayish area worst quality low quality so you can give all of this three legs crowded background walking backwards one thing do not uh, generally put anything related to crowd because with multiple subjects first of all it starts losing uh, the reference of the subject what i have noticed and secondly the background will not be as natural as the subject so there would be some kind of issue with the walking hands anything like that try to have a clearer background <laughs> and with that we have van video sampler what i am doing is that I am using the steps 30, CFG 5, Shift 5, Seed, I have fixed it, you can use any seed, uh, it's not a big deal, Force Load, Scheduler, I have seen UniPC works best, I tried it with Euler, but uh, the problem that I was facing was that it was taking one reference perfectly, but for the second one it was creating a woman out of him. So that was being the problem with Euler. So Euler is not that great. I have not used the others, but I have seen like uh, in the online, I have seen that UniPC is working the best. Denoise strength is one and you do not need to change anything here. This is now the decoding. So it will be decoding it. This is Tilex 320, 320. If you want, you can change these a little bit according to your VRAM, but I would suggest keep it as uh, same as possible and then again uh, we are generating this video so obviously 24 frames for, uh, per second and here this is the complete video now you can see if I zoom in there is slightly like flickering problem with eyes or anything but the great part is even if the quality is not that great and yes you can also the resolution will be 830 to 480 or 1280 768. So I am using the latter part because the first one takes uh, up a longer time, especially on uh, like less VRAM. But uh, if you use 1280 768, then 
you will have a better resolution but even with the lower resolution because i wanted to show you the lower resolution and uh, the likeliness and the similarity with these you can see because the arms were not included in this photo so it made this uh, half sleeve but still the buttons the bluish uh, color like all of this is a uh, pretty decent for uh, a such a small model right and even here you can see the dress the way her hair moves everything is quite coherent you can also see that there was a the diamond earring and this is also there in the video so a uh, pretty good model and uh, try it out and if you have any kind of doubt or any kind of question put it in the comment section below and i'll try to reply as soon as possible thank you